Good morning. I'd like to thank you for joining our presentation. PowerSync Energy Solutions is proud to announce, in conjunction with Energy Products, the launch of our new lithium iron phosphate and graphene dual purpose deep cycle and starter batteries. For the first time, the battery industry has a true dual purpose lithium battery. During the presentation, we're going to introduce you to PowerSync. We're going to talk about a little bit of our history, where we've come from, what we're doing, some of the exciting projects that we're involved with. Then we're going to get into the lithium iron phosphate and graphene chemistry, why we are doing this. We're going to talk about the products that we have available, the specifications. We're going to get into a little bit of product comparison with some of the other products that are on the market. Uh, we'll talk briefly about the charger integrations and then we'll get into the warranty and at the end we'll be happy to take any questions that you might have. The PowerSync family has been in the battery industry for three generations. Throughout the past 40 years we have developed within the battery industry and since 2018 PowerSync has become known for developing custom batteries for our customers and their projects. Over the years many of those products that we have developed have become standard solutions for various applications. Our focus in the battery industry is deep cycle batteries. Our goal is to continue to add products as the market demands. We try to stay on the cutting edge of the market. More importantly, we listen to the needs of our installation and integration partners to develop a product that you need. On the stationary, residential, and commercial side of our business, here are some of the recent projects that we've been involved with for example, in this off-grid farm, one of our installers has installed our batteries with the Solark 12K inverter. In this application, there's 64 kW of PV, six Solark inverters, and 48 modules totaling 246 kWh of energy storage. In a small, light commercial project, this off-grid facility uh, also has 64 kW of PV, two Solark 12K inverters, and 61 kWh of our low voltage, 51.2, 100 amp hour, high powered batteries. This is a pretty exciting project. This recent high voltage commercial project at a U.S. government facility is the largest DC coupled high voltage system in Puerto Rico. Combining 192 kW of PV, with, with 348 kWh of storage and 280 kW power, this unique system is fully operational, providing power backup, demand charge mitigation, load shifting, and load management for critical systems within this facility. Now building off of the success of the previous high voltage projects, we are now launching our third generation of our high voltage energy storage solutions, which we'll be highlighting over the coming months and here is just a preview of what we have to offer. So now back to the presentation of our low voltage drop-in replacement battery options and now our LFPG lithium graphene product line. So why graphene? Well for years the lead acid business has been incorporating the use of carbon to improve the performance and lifespan of conventional batteries. So the advantages that we were able to see in the lead carbon industry of enhancing the batteries with the lead carbon are you would see things such as less sulfation during partial state of charge operations um, the lower charge voltage leads to higher efficiencies and less corrosion of the positive plate and uh, overall you basically get an improved cycle life well for the same reasons adding graphene which is a carbon derivative of graphite that's the next major development in the evolution of lithium batteries. Nobel Prize winners Andre Game and Konstantin Novoselov discovered a single atom thick layer of carbon atoms in 2004 and initially labeled it graphene. The thickness of graphene is one million times smaller than the diameter of a single hair. Graphene is a hexagonal two-dimensional honeycomb lattice formed from the carbon atoms and has the characteristics of its graphite precursor. It is known as the thinnest and the strongest known material, but yet it's very flexible. If you examine some of those benefits, these characteristics allow for more efficient transportation of electrical charge from one electrode to another, making it ideal for use as a battery electrode. 
Additionally, graphene has a very large surface uh, area, which creates a more efficient storage of that electrical charge. Since 2004, there have been numerous engineering studies researching all aspects of graphene, which is being used across many different platforms, everywhere from biomedical to composites, coatings, electronics, membranes, and energy storage. And so what they found early on is that graphene is an, ele is an excellent conductor of electricity and heat. For example, this study from 2012 stands out to me. They demonstrated that similar to the LTO graphite anode, this LFP graphite cathode is a very flexible and shows excellent cyclic stability at both a low C rate of 0.5 C and a high C rate of 10 C. What the research has indicated is that the application of graphene to the batteries has many different benefits when the iron phosphate is added to the cathode and graphene is added to the anode. And that's what we do in our batteries. The flexibility, lightweight, the large surface area, the strength of the graphene means that it can be used to create a thinner and lighter battery electrodes that are able to store more energy than traditional battery electrodes. This is not only reduces the overall weight of the battery, but also allows for more active material to be included in the electrode resulting in a higher energy density. So take for example, our group 31, which is a 12.8 volt, 115 amp hour battery. That fits into a group 31. Most of our competitors uh, can only do about 100 amp hours in that same group 31 uh, format. And the other benefit that you see here is that we are capable of achieving that 1000 PCA, which is very similar, but not the same thing as 1000 cold cranking amps. Um, it's a different terminology, but it's basically uh, the same amount of amps that you can use for those uh, engine start applications. So that's significantly higher than what most of our competitors are able to do as well. In addition to that, the strength of the graphene means that it can help to improve the safety of the lithium batteries by preventing the formation of those dangerous dendrites. A lithium ion battery operating under abnormal conditions such as overcharging or low temperature charging can lead to a harmful phenomenon called lithium dendrite growth or lithium plating. Lithium dendrites are metallic microstructures that form on the negative electrode during the charging process. The lithium dendrites are formed when extra lithium ions accumulate in the anode surface and cannot be absorbed into the anode in time. They cause short circuits and lead to catastrophic failures and even fires. Graphene's exceptional strength prevents dendrites from piercing through the electrodes and causing that short circuit. So this is the entire family that we currently have of the lithium iron phosphate and graphene uh, power sink products. We've got the group U1, which is a 40 amp hour. I think uh, most batteries out there are somewhere between 33 and 36 amp hours. We have the 50 amp hour. We have the group 24 that's an 80 amp hour. The group 27, which is a uh, 100 amp hour battery. Once again, the uh, group 24, 27, and 31 all have more energy density than uh, most of the other product, lithium iron phosphate, your standard products on the market. And then we have our group 8D and our group 4D. Just want to make a note that uh, future alternative voltage options are going to be available on these batteries. So um, get with uh, energy products and talk to them about your need for the 25.6 uh, version the 38.4 version or the uh, 51.2 version. So while we dive into the next slides, I want you guys to be thinking about some of the ideal markets for the LFPG batteries. So obviously golf carts, uh, that's going to be new to us as well. We've got the industrial equipment, RV, boating. Um, those are all the types of markets that uh, we want to um, attack with the uh, lithium iron phosphate with graphene batteries. Looking at uh, our marketing material, we try to explain to our customers what we're doing with these batteries. We like to explain to them uh, why we're using graphene. As I've mentioned in this presentation, we go over the benefits with the customer, and then we try to pull it all together to really show the customer um, some of the design features and how it's going to help them in, um, 
and the use of their batteries uh, once they receive them. So these uh, materials are all available on our website at powersinkenergy.com. So bringing it all together, the lithium iron phosphate plus the graphene, number one, improves the electroconductivity of the battery. Unlike other materials that are used in batteries, such as carbon or metal oxides, graphene is not susceptible to cor corrosion or degradation when it's exposed to the electrolytes. The lithium batteries made with the graphene electrodes are able to store more charge than conventional lithium iron phosphate batteries. The conductivity of graphene also allows for a faster charging and discharging times while operating in wider temperature ranges, thereby reducing the risk of thermal runaway and improving safety. One of the things that I really like seeing in some of the research is the fact that they were able to demonstrate that with the graphene, when it was added to the iron phosphate, um, one particular study showed that it uh, lowered the overall operating temperature of the battery by about 5%. And whenever you lower the temperature, uh, you improve cycle life. Um, all of our batteries have these key features. So uh, they are dual purpose starter plus deep cycle. Um, they all have at least a 2x usable energy per charge cycle than any AGM battery out on the market. Um, the pulse discharge of our batteries um, in the group U1, we'll go over some of the specifications on the different batteries, is higher. Uh, this 1000 amp example is appropriate for the group 31 and the group 27. Um, the group 8D and 4D actually have uh, go up to uh, 1200 amps. The cycle life of these batteries is uh, significantly longer uh, than most uh, other iron phosphate uh, batteries out there. And that's uh, 5,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge, and this was tested at a 0.5C. All of our batteries have the SOC meter on the battery itself, but we also have the Bluetooth app and the Google Play uh, app that's available for uh, download for free. And that will give you a lot of information um, uh, relative to what's happening inside the battery as it's operating. All of our LFPG batteries do have that built-in heater. Uh, once again, uh, the purpose of the heater is to basically raise the uh, temperature of the battery in cold climates so that it can get to a safe charging temperature. And then uh, once it's at a safe charging temperature, then the battery will accept the charge. It is not a heater that's going to keep operating over and over and over to keep the battery at a temperature. It's only to heat up the battery when it's in a, um, when a charge is being um, demanded of it. IP65 rating on all the batteries, um, it's pretty significant. Um, it's not to be submerged, it's just a water resistance. And um, we love the fact that we uh, can put these batteries in four series or four parallel. So pulling it all together, uh, we've got a pretty phenomenal battery with a very long uh, runtime compared to other batteries on the market. Once again, uh, this is based upon the Group 31 115 amp hour batteries, just to give you an idea of how long the battery would operate uh, if you uh, had different uh, load levels put onto it. We really encourage all customers, uh, whenever they uh, buy these batteries, is to download our um, app from the uh, iPhone App Store or the Google Play App Store. And um, it's a very, very simple in installation uh, of the app and, and get it running and, and, and hooked up to the battery. So um, that's a pr really pretty exciting uh, development that we have. So now let's get into some of the product specifications. I wanted to highlight um, some of the key elements that we have on our spec sheets for the uh, lithium graphene batteries. Wanted to point out, uh, first of all, that, you know, in most cases, our nominal capacity of the batteries are going to be higher than some of the other uh, standard iron phosphate products on the market. Uh, it is very important to note that we have a maximum continuous charge and discharge current of a 1C charge or discharge rate. So, um, 1C meaning if you have a 100 amp hour battery and you put 100 amps onto it, uh, it's going to fully discharge in one hour. And then for the uh, dual purpose element of the battery, uh, meaning the uh, engine start, 
uh, keep in mind here that uh, we've got significantly high pulse cranking amps, which uh, basically comes out to, in some cases, to be about a 10C for, for five seconds. The um, group 31 and 27 have a thousand amps, and then uh, you can see what the uh, pulse cranking amps are for the uh, 24, 50, and the group U1. So this is one of the marketing pieces that we have available to the customers. It is simply to provide you with an overall view of how the lithium graphene is going to compare against other standard um, ba batteries in a similar group size or a similar uh, amp hour size. So all of this material, I've got the background information uh, to substantiate these claims. But the, the key here is just to really highlight and help the customer understand that, look, we have more capacity. We've got more energy. We've got lower weight than, um, than your AGM batteries. Um, this Group 31 is slightly higher in weight than a standard LFP, but that's also because we've got more uh, lithium in the battery. We've got faster charging. We've got more cranking power, better temperature performance, more efficiency. Basically, at the end of the day, you're going to get a better overall total cost of, inter, uh, of ownership with the PowerSync lithium iron phosphate and graphene batteries. So this chart here is also to help uh, demonstrate some of the functionality that PowerSync has over some of the other uh, leading competitors in the lithium iron phosphate drop-in replacement business. Anything is in red is where the power sink batteries exceed expectation compared to some of the other batteries out there on the market. And we've got basically the same information here for the group 8D batteries. So let's uh, talk real quickly about inverter and charger integrations. Um, we do highly recommend the use of a constant voltage or constant current charger. Really any lithium chargers that are available on the market are appropriate for uh, these lithium iron phosphate and graphene batteries. Uh, if, the, if you have an AGM charger that has a lithium setting, uh, please use that. If you've got uh, chargers that um, require that you program in information, on our spec sheets, we have the information for you about uh, the programming to the bulk absorb and float um, charging parameters and voltage parameters on the battery. These uh, batteries uh, can be charged off of the alternator. Um, whenever it's charged off of the alternator, it's not going to be as fast or as great as a constant current or constant voltage, but it is possible. Uh, so that's uh, part of the, how these batteries were designed. Now getting into the warranty, we have an 18, I'm sorry, an eight year uh, limited prorated warranty on the batteries. We have for the first five years is a complete um, repair or replacement of the batteries uh, against any defects in the material or the workmanship of the batteries uh, or the manufacturing of the batteries themselves. This does not cover abuse of a battery or doing anything that is outside of the normal operation of the battery. After the five years, we have another three years of that prorated period. And on our warranty information on the PowerSync website, uh, we explain to you exactly what that uh, proration looks like. So basically, we are warranting the battery that, we'll ha that the battery will have at least a 70% retained capacity at the end of the uh, prorated period of eight years. And finally, uh, looking at uh, what we got coming soon, we've got the golf cart batteries. We're pretty excited about these batteries. They're going to be available in a 25, 38, and 51.2 volt options. So as we will be announcing um, our spec sheets on that in the uh, coming in the coming weeks, and uh, that's going to be a very, very exciting uh, product line for us.
And I would like to encourage anyone who is interested in these LFPG batteries to get in touch with Energy Products. Contact us or get in touch with Energy Products. Uh, they've got the full line of these batteries in stock in their warehouses. And we're really looking forward to working with them and, and expanding this market.